Over 100 years ago, Australian and New Zealand servicemen took in the dawn and kept still and quiet as their landing boats approached the shores of Gallipoli and the violence that awaited them there. Since that first Anzac Day, our nation has gathered together on the 25th of April to commemorate our forebears and all those since who have made sacrifices for our country. Anzac Day is a special time of the year for us. It's a day to pause and reflect on our service and the legacy of the men and women who have come before us. But the shape of things is different this year. In order to protect ourselves and our communities, we've seen the need to cancel Anzac Day services across the nation. There is no time in Anzac Day's history which has caused such disruption to our commemorations. And for many people, it will be tough. But ceremonies are important. And the changes this year do not mean that we cannot mark Anzac Day in an appropriate way. It's been a tough start to the year for Air Force. Our personnel continue to serve overseas. We've stepped in to help bushfire efforts and are now working with civilian authorities to contain the COVID-19 outbreak and to protect Australians. For this reason, it's important that no matter how you've chosen to acknowledge today, you should be proud. You stand amongst the past and present who have displayed great courage, discipline and self-sacrifice in choosing a life of service to their country. Thank you for everything you do for this Air Force and for our country. I'm deeply honoured to lead such a remarkable and incredible Air Force, dedicated to service and excellence, lest we forget.